Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and we I just tried to help somebody. I hope I I hope I helped make a heart-shaped tab box. And this would take you several hours to draw and some testing. And you could do it in several seconds with Monster Macro, macromonster.com e-cuts. It's only $60. I'm not promoting it. I'm not trying to sell it. I do not make a penny off this company. It's just, I'm pretty proud of them. For what they packed into E-Cut, it's incredible. And I'm just going to show you, we're going to take that heart shape, same one we've been using, and we're going to go find finger joint shape. Now, this is a beta version. If you have an error suggestion, contact developer. You could put in... Like, we want it to be one inch. The material's eighth inch. Say okay. Okay. There it is. Already drawn out in two seconds. Now, I don't like the hint living hinge part, but I'm, I know it could do this. Well, maybe that's just because it's one inch, and I did it earlier in two just to test it. And I really think two would probably be better. So, and there's probably, I have, I've never used it, but create fingers, minimum finger, maximum finger, compensation, angle, process corners, dash count, spline count. I don't understand hardly any of it. I just go and option material width, the depth, uh, add a locking depth, you know, whatever. But, you know, earlier we did a test. So this is going to have larger tabs. But their living hinge is pretty good, you know, because they've cut cut all the way through the tabs, what I was trying to say earlier. But there, there's still a, a savings point right there. But let's just test their configure and look how they did the corners. I mean, the computer software did it. Let's put that right in that corner. Let's zoom in here. Right in that corner. And let's double click on the rotation. And let's move the rotation in that corner or get it close. And now let's rotate it up to our heart and look at the joints. I mean, look at that. They're dead on. And they probably built in the situations. And see, here what I was talking about earlier. You only need one male and one female instead of trying to do two. Now, maybe, maybe this will help you understand what I was trying to do with the lid earlier. So this is going to be the box that you're going to glue your item to, you know, your living hinge to. But the living hinge is going to be shown. So if you make your another heart shape that size to fit on top, but what I was trying to explain, if you take this shape and go up to effects and contour and contour quarter of an inch to the inside, and well, one, yeah, then just break that apart and then take this piece well, I didn't break it apart. Sometimes you have to select the whole thing to get the contour to break apart. Well, maybe it is apart. There we go. So this piece, this is going to be a piece of wood that's going to be in there. And then this piece of wood would go on the inside of that. I'll tell you what, let's just make it manual a little bit smaller. That's not a good idea. Tell you what, let's let's work in the center of the page. I, this is why I work in the center of the page. For this very reason. Because you can center stuff. So let's say this is going to be your piece of wood. Like this is what your top piece is going to look like. One, it's going to be maybe a little bit thicker to be flexible. But your outer ring is going to glue into this. And this would be pretty cool. 
if that was your top piece of wood. And then you're gonna have another piece of wood on the very top of it to cover all that stuff up. Let me tell you what, let's do this. Let's make it blue. Let's get a closing cut. Let's make it blue. So that, well, evidently I picked the wrong, wrong one. There we go. Make this blue. Hit P. That's what's going to, okay. It's the, the, let's go to object order front of page. Now you can't see it. That's, so that's going to cover that up. And then you're going to have a smaller piece that's going to be yellow. And I'm going to, oh man, uh, long day. And then go make that to the, the one we have to the front of page. So that's what is, this is going to be glued. It's upside down. The, the blue is upside down now and the yellow is going to fit down. And it's going to create a, a stop block for the thing from sliding off. Hope that makes sense. Kind of looking at it on a, in a view. Uh, if this, if this was your top, and then you have a hole, you know, the same size, and then you have a, another piece of wood that is less that size. I'm having trouble grabbing the zoom tool. So in other words, you've got a piece of wood that's glued to the top that's going to fit down. Let me get rid of that. It's going to fit down in this hole, even all the way down to here. And that's going to keep it from falling out. And then this is going to be your top. So this is your heart-shaped box. This is just the two lids. So let's color the lids in with black and, well, black and black. That's what your lid's going to look like. And this is... This is the outer part of your box that'll be blue. I'm getting a little bit too far now. But it, anyway, you need two pieces of wood to keep it from falling off. But consider, I'm not trying to sell you, but Monster Macro can search some of my videos for E-cuts or Macro Monster. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.